Good morning, ma'am. Good afternoon, ma'am. Ma'am, your voice is breaking. Good afternoon, ma'am. Good morning, ma'am. Good afternoon, ma'am. Good afternoon, ma'am. Ma'am, will the class start at exactly one o'clock? Good afternoon, ma'am. Good afternoon, student. Uh, my voice is audible to everybody. No, ma'am, it's not. It's no, coming ma very breaking. Ma'am, your voice is breaking. My not voice here. is breaking now. Not there. Ma'am, it's coming no, like vertically. What happened? My voice is yeah, man. Clear now. Ma'am, it's clear not clear. Oh, ma'am, your voice is breaking. Ma'am, it's like just the same voice of like a robot. Okay, like that. It is coming. Okay, just a minute, students. Uh, we are going to start the class in uh, five minutes. Okay. My voice is a lot creaking. Okay, good afternoon, ma'am. Good afternoon, ma'am.
good uh, good afternoon ma'am 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 Good afternoon ma'am. Good afternoon ma'am. The voice is audible. No ma'am it's creak. No ma'am it's creak. No ma'am. Ma'am it's cracking no, ma'am. Good afternoon, students. Uh, good afternoon, ma'am. Good afternoon, sir. 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 Is there any teacher online? Yes, sir. I'm coming, ma'am. Yes, sir. Ma'am. I think it's one. Do we have got just one hour? Ma'am. Good morning, ma'am. Yeah. Any other teachers in this meeting? No sir. Okay. No sir. Can't just start right. We yeah, we need some teachers. Sir, please start. Just a minute. Let uh, some of your staffs have to join. Ma'am. Just a minute, I will just try to contact and ask you. 
Sir, what are we going to learn today? Sir, are um, we going to use Scratch today? We'll start with that. Just give me five more minutes. Ma'am has left the meeting. Yeah, okay, sir. Right. I will try to contact and I will come back. Sir, ma'am has joined. Okay, sir. Just now she opened her mic. Yeah, sir, ma'am has joined. Okay, we should wait. Now it's okay, sir. Oh, no, it's still okay. uh, no, no, ma'am. It's still like, like kind of echoing. Ah, uh, okay, sir. I'm just giving an introduction to the student for you. Who that? Ah, uh, after that you start. Ah, uh, sir, uh, my name is Sir and one uh, Bharat Sir is there. Ah, uh, students for center uh, from center two, they are going to uh, tell you. About the tinkering process, what we are going to do in the adult tinkering lab as the technician. Oh, your voice is really working, is heard. Okay. Sir, your voice is very loud. Yes, ma'am. I will carry on, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. Okay, students. Uh, so I am Pahat from Center of Tech. So someone was asking what we are going to learn today. So I heard like you already. Uh, came to know about this Arduino through your school, right? How many of you have worked already with Arduino? Sir, I have worked some. Sir, okay. Sir, uh, sir I have worked in the program. Before going into that, uh, so when when you are prompted with some questions, you can answer by unmuting yourself, and then again you have to mute yourself. Okay. Right. So now, uh. Okay, I think many of you have uh, worked with Arduino. So, who and all has not worked with Arduino? Sir, I am. Sir, I am. Sir, sir, sir. Community outreach. I am not. Okay. Uh, I can hear some saying I haven't worked. Okay. So today we are going to learn from scratch about Arduino. From scratch means from basics. Okay. So what what projects we can do using Arduino board? And uh, main thing is this is a microcontroller, as you all know. So let's. I will just uh, start presenting my screen. So if you are not able to see my screen, show uh, that. Sir, uh, sorry, ma'am. It's still. No, ma'am. Well, my name is Walsh. It's very robotic, ma'am. But you are able to listen something. Ma'am, like a robot. Ma'am, it's a bit worse. Okay. Yeah, yeah, right. Right. Just learning robotics. Okay. Okay. This one we can hear, ma'am. Okay. Students, uh, so you can see my screen, right? So I have started presenting. So at some point, if you are going, uh, you're losing my presentation, you have to go to this people option here. And you can see my name in alphabetical order in yours, like Fahad A. Presentation. There will be two IDs. So what you have to do is click this Fahad A. Presentation ID in your people option. Uh, if you click like this, you will get a pin option here. So just pin my screen. Okay. So without Sir, wasting much time. Okay, good. So let's go into a session. Okay. So what? Atal, you have entered your Atal Labs in your school. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. What until you have done in, the, yes, in your Atal Labs? Yes, sir. We have entered. We have done many projects. Sir, we have not entered. No, sir. We what projects? Sir, done it. Sorry, no, sir. And uh, even sir, we have not entered any room, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, it's okay. You will be allowed to enter uh, in future. So, what projects you have done? Some students are saying. 
sir so, uh, we haven't done any projects but we have seen some parts we have been shown so have like audio of the cycle control okay you have seen start. electronic part. you have seen electronic Action. item but you haven't worked Action. in that yes, yes, the motor yes, she parts but, of the okay but since you, you have worked in art you know 3d printing uh, we have sound sir yep printer okay Okay. And uh, the work so let's start this. Like houses, dams, or lots of. Okay, good. So let's start the session now. So, as you all know, this session is all about the started engineering labs. What we are going to do is let's start virtual Arduino. So at this point of time, you are not having that Arduino hardware board with you, right? Without that Arduino hardware, you can also learn about this Arduino microcontroller. Without that hardware part at your homes, okay, that is the main concept of today's session. So I'm going to tell you how to learn about this Arduino without that hardware part. Before that, we have to learn complete hardware sections of this Arduino. So starting, what is Arduino? What is what do you say if you if someone prompts you a question with what is Arduino? Just one word answer. What is Arduino? One word. I need a one word answer. What is Arduino? Sir, it's a microcontroller. Speaker, microphone, sp oh. micro type speaker, controller. I got first in microcontroller, controller, right? It's a good answer. But more precise. Sir, it's a chip. It is a board with the Atmega three two eight B and fifteen D fourteen digital pins and five analog pins. Said a one word answer, and you gave me a five mark answer. Okay. Uh, so this uh, Arduino. Uh, okay, okay. So this Arduino one said that it, this is a Arduino is a board. It contains at mega three to eight pin. Another one, another one of our friends said microcontroller. Okay. So this is a microcontroller board. Okay, so microcontroller board which contains the chip at mega three to eight p, which is a microcontroller. So when someone is asking what is Arduino, it is a microcontroller board which holds a microcontroller. Okay, Arduino is not a microcontroller. To be more precise, you have to say microcontroller board. Microcontroller is our at mega three to eight p chip, which will be incorporated here. So it is a open source platform. Which means you need not have to pay to use that software, and we all know Arduino is a combination of both. Um, sir, uh, sir, um, just voice is audible. My voice is audible, sir. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Uh, myself and I. Yes, ma'am. Uh, now it's okay. Sir, uh, just a minute. I'll just sorry to interrupt you. Here, uh, no we are just uh, conducting a training. Uh, we are conducting a training for class six to ninth, sir. Okay. So what okay, actually happened? The sixth and seventh student they don't have any idea about the uh, it. What actually the why this is prepared? What are the main things? Okay. So, sir, uh, can you please just uh, sorry, which uh, sixth and seventh? Sixth and seventh, sir. Uh, sir, so they, they not no enter even in the it. lab because uh, yes, okay, yes. so that's why I request you just uh, for the starting uh, fifteen twenty minutes, let them explain about this ATL uh, so that uh, they learn and then you start because uh, they don't know anything uh, literally I'm because uh, because of the lack. Like, yes, yes, you I'm heard from the, from the because uh, uh. because of the lockdown, they are not able to enter in the lab, so so they don't know anything. Uh, So please, you start with the basic, and then we continue with this, sir. Okay, sir. I have not entered any. Yes, ma'am. Sure. So I have not entered any project yet. Yeah. So I started with the basic right, uh, this board. So first thing is we have to know about this board. What are the important things we have? So huh. started. Okay, ma'am. No, sir. Okay. What so I am telling, uh, you just tell something about detail also. Means uh, why this, uh, what is the meaning, and why this uh, lab is introduced, so that he, they have a little bit interest. Uh, they are going to do all these things. Okay, ma'am. I thought uh, it's already started in your notes, so I have skipped that. Uh, no, no, actually, no. Okay, we'll start. Seventh, I already the sixth and seventh okay. also there, so we start from the sixth. Okay, so sorry for interruption. Okay, ma'am. Okay, ma'am. 
okay so then so this uh, session as we have while starting i said this is about atal thinking lab okay this atal thinking lab is a government scheme introduced by our government from 2014 okay so this atal uh, is uh, named after our uh, let atal bihari vajpayee sir so they have kept a name here so this uh, their main aim is to nurturing young minds to innovate innovate is nothing but but nothing but you have to think more okay using this uh, so this lab will contain both electronics and mechanical uh, workstations so you have to innovate yourself through this components you have, you have to make yourself uh, think out of the box they'll say no you, you should not uh, just we have uh, something like the book concept textbook concept just you will learn what and all lessons in the book you have to do extra projects to make yourself uh, learn more so now we are going to learn about this arduino today for example but you should not uh, make yourself stick into only this arduino you have to explore more of the microcontrollers and many things which is available in your lab so maybe it will be very useful to your future at this age okay so what we are doing is main is robotics i am sure that all children will be um, very much interested in robotics part robotics is nothing but you will be building robots robots is nothing but uh, uh, what will think if you hear the name robots just a um, uh, standing machine something like this it's not like that robotics is also includes our remote control cars also okay we will learn about that in future so atal tinkering lab is started based on stem technology i don't know whether you have heard stem stem means science technology engineering mathematics so it's not only engineering you will also come to learn about the science concepts as well as mathematics okay science technology engineering and mathematics so it as i said on include science concepts robotics and microcontrollers what is a microcontroller sir it's a device used for controlling any uh, hardware component by one control of hardware component it's for controlling any hardware controlling of hardware it's, it's a hardware it's kind of a brain some something like okay microprocessor you would have heard processor more in our day to day life right very of their processors unit of microcontroller microprocessor in your phones you would have phones you have your processor right so this is not a processor this is a controller some someone said it is a brain yes like cpu is the brain of the computer so in this art you know this microcontroller chip is the brain there are n number of microcontrollers available so here in this picture you are seeing sensors uh, what sensor you have uh, worked on any sensor you have worked Sir, uh, I have sensor. Sensor. Hospital. 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 So once you are uh, available, the lab is available. You can explore the sensors. So again, this 3D printer is also available there. This 3D printer is started uh, for the medical use, and then now it is used in various fields. So what is the subtle tinkering labs? What we will do to ensure that you are uh, you are gaining everything from the subtle labs is we will try to promote innovation skills as well as creativity, as I said. and to prepare the students to become employment ready by equipping in them different skills including life skills so it's not like uh, just we will be as i said we will not be going through just the concepts what we have we will also ask you to develop your own concepts concepts in this sense you have to use all the objects available in your lab okay it's a collaborative learning which means it will not be an individual thing you will be uh, tempted in teams and asked to work as a group and this is uh, since this is the first class 
it will be more of a theoretical somewhat till one half an hour but after this everything will be practical there is no technique uh, theory classes here after after this first session okay okay so as we started this virtual arduino uh, we will come to know about what is this virtual arduino later of the session so here we are we have start with arduino is a combination of both hardware and software what is hardware and what is software hardware is physical component which we can touch okay this, that's a basic definition for that as a software we know so here we have this hardware arduino hardware as well as we have a software to control this hardware part arduino ide arduino integrated development environment environment which we will be seeing in our later slides so this is fun to learn and it can be used by anybody there is not like we have to be a technical person to use this it is simple to use it arduino is mainly built uh, for the students projects it's not that difficult so what we can do with this arduino board what is this component here led led light emitting diode okay good Yes, My LED. So we can we can control switch. this LED through this Button Arduino. Switch. This is a switch. switch. Good Button. switch. Button switch. Good. Yes, we can use the switch to control using this Arduino board. And here, it's a this? motor. It's a motor. It's a motor. It is DC. No, sir, it's DC. It's a DC motor. DC, DC. Yes, DC, DC motor. motor. Okay, which uh, motor which acts through the direct current. So here, GPS. What does G GPS do with this Arduino GPS board? What we can do? Location. As you can uh, in your smartphones, you you can in your smartphones you can uh, you can detect your precise location, right? In the same way, using this Arduino board also, you can get the location precisely. Internet. It connects to the GPS. What is internet? Huge network of computers. Huge network. Can anyone see me a simple uh, project using this internet through Arduino? Sir, uh, can you please repeat this? Computer. The Google Chrome. Sir, sir, can I repeat, sir? Sir, can you please repeat? It's not alone searching. Yes, you can. can no, this internet. Have you heard a term called IoT? Cloud. Internet yes, sir. Internet of Things. We use that yes, to program. Okay. So I the... I asked no, 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 no. any project based on IoT. Sir, so, um, yes, sir. Sir, I'm sir, asking sir, since you are answering. Your data and data and Alexa. Alexa. Alexa, sir, Alexa. Alexa, yes, right. It's a IoT thing. But, uh, I want some, but it's already built, right? I want to know a project which is uh, something like uh, how to say. Uh, Sir, have I'm you ever Alexa. worked with a Bluetooth app control bar? Okay, so yes, there is. Yeah. Yes, yes. In, that way, in that way, I want to know. Some projects in this IoT, Internet of Things. Okay. So that you will understand what does Internet do with Arduino board. Okay. Yes, so sir. I will show you. In, I will show you one uh, project after the slide, maybe uh, IoT. Just a minute. So here we have this uh, phone, smartphone. 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 Why this? Uh, why this picture is here is we will be connecting a Bluetooth from the Arduino board to the Bluetooth of phone. And we can share anything we want. Sharing data between the phone and Arduino board. So here we have an LED screen, camera, and buzzer. Like a TV so all these things. Yes, TV. We can uh, transfer TV images and, and connect TV. through Wi-Fi. Okay, we can connect TV. through Wi-Fi everything. So here we can upload pictures <laughs> and take. Okay. And here is our. Yes, and here TV. is our buzzer. Buzzer we will be using in some projects where we want some alarm sound. Okay, maybe you will be building a theft alarm. You will be building a theft alarm where if some uh, interrupts someone interrupts your home, uh, an alarm goes on. 
So in those projects, we'll be using this buzzer. Okay, so what does it do? You can use sensors. Yeah, okay, so what is this here? This is a project remote using Arduino remote. code. Remote control car. Remote control car. Not a remote, remote. control car. Blind follower. Right. Yes, car. someone said line it's follower. This is a line follower robot. Here you can see IR sensors, which will detect only back line. Can anyone tell me what application where does where can we use this line follower? Sir, we can use this uh, where there is a lot a bit of heat. No, there is some kind of electromagnetic wave. Light sensors. Yeah, light so sensors in the dark room. Light is not there. So we can While manufacturing. It will sense the light okay. and shows where so, the light is there. Just, uh, uh, just think. See, uh, in our industry, you need a bulk of materials to be carried from one place to another every day. Okay, so there is no need of any manpower. If you just load all materials in this car and it will just follow the line without manual, automatically it will carry from one place to another and just we have to drop the materials there. So this is an applica industrial application. Sir, I have a doubt, sir. Yes? Sir, uh, if you only two wheels are there, then pressure will build up on the, on the sensors. No, this is, no, this is just a portraying thing picture, okay? So you can build with four cars. And yes, you can build with six wheels, anything. Big okay, sir. truck, okay. So the main thing is here, IR, yes. This IR is the main thing in line follower. So in this project, you can see temperature and humidity showing. So uh, something like what we have in our phones and AC. Okay, this is our humidity, DHT11, humidity temperature, which will detect the temperature and humidity in our and here we have what is this that's this so it's a uh, it's a no, sensor it has it's a Jesus which has a camera to see after surveying sensor a, and the bluetooth uh, controllable sensor surveying yes, camera it's, it's sensor, not a camera, camera. It's not a camera it's a distance sensor. sensor ultrasonic ultrasonic okay. sensor to detect any object in front and just avoid it and move away so it is an automatic obstacle avoiding car also control you can by see, yes, Bluetooth. yes Bluetooth, Bluetooth allows us to control to our joystick or phone. So here we can see a series of LEDs. In our LED functions, light. you would have seen many LEDs, right? In different patterns, it will be blinking in different patterns. You can also build those projects using our Arduino board. And here you can see a reverse parking sensor. In this behind the car, there will be an, yes, yes, there will be an ultrasonic sensor behind this car. And once the driver reverses the car, it will just it keep the alarm. It's uh, you, we can fix whether it's one meter or five meters. So once the platform is near the back of the car, it will just start alarming. Yes, sir. And this final one. So this yes. is the intelligent uh, mixer. We can just set the timing and we can wait and watch. It will uh, mix it automatically. Uh, near but not exactly so this is the one project which i said iot okay here you can see a twitter bird just to show us that a message from okay so just imagine you are uh, away from your home uh, for example you have went for shopping with your family and before getting into your home you want a coffee okay while reaching you need a coffee there's no one at home so what you have to do is you have to send a message to your arduino board and it will automatically initiate the coffee maker and it will start preparing your coffee. Okay, this is a kind of IoT project. So without manual work, if you're controlling from anywhere through your internet, those projects are called IoT, Internet of Things. Sir, yes. Any doubts? Sir, uh, practical. No, okay. sir. Okay. No doubt. Can we do practicals now? Uh, we have to come uh, just a minute. I think half an hour completed. Yes, sir. Half an hour is over. Okay, yes, sir. just a minute. We have to register. So there are different types of Arduino. So this is Arduino Uno, which we will be using today to work. And we have Lillipad Arduino. So this Arduino is type of Arduino where you can uh, add it in your t-shirts so that it is lighter. 
and here we have redboard arduino and arduino mega this is nothing but have more pins than arduino uno then arduino leonardo is a type which has different ic and this arduino nano is the smallest of the arduino family okay it is just so tiny that you can hold it in your hand like this and there are shields in arduino what do you mean by shields sir protective cover protective so, protective cover she protective would cover. we will be saying protection but it is also an additional feature for example here you can see a lcd in this shield okay so this allows us to perform projects without an additional uh, board okay just you have to place this shield in uh, above the arduino board and it allow us to use this lcd so here you can see joysticks for gaming and here you can see mp3 players so there are different shields which is protection as well as an additional feature to our arduino boards sir so this arduino base yes. sir arduino there is no uh, uh, other arduino which is smaller than arduino nano no arduino nano is the smallest okay sir on this arduino uno board we should uh, please listen to micro arduino micro is bigger than arduino nano arduino, arduino nano is the micro. tiniest okay so here just see this arduino uno board hardware board we are going to see what what and all hardware parts present here so this is a reset button just to reset our project if it's already running and we want to see the project from the beginning and here you can see this usb port so this usb port where, where will be using this usb port for connecting your usb port for connecting to devices so for programming exactly. a computer with yes. computer so this usb port is used to pendrive yes, students so this usb port is used to combine your hardware board with your software okay this is used for that and here is your power port as you all know we will be using this port to power our arduino board so can we use ac and power this... for this what can we use ac power for this or only dc should be used uh you can use either of that but uh, through this usb port we will be giving no that also you can power but here maximum you can't give about 20 volts maximum is 20 volts but recommended is you should not go above 15 volts so basically we will be using a 9 volt battery to power this board so here you can see microcontroller chip at mega 328p okay so this is our microcontroller and we all know arduino is a microcontroller board which holds this microcontroller chip and next sir, is, is sir, uh, only, only name of microcontroller chip one one by one i can't hear what name of this sir. microcontroller yes sir at mega 328p sir but how can we understand which chip is what what do you mean cells cell, 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 cell are uh, uh, below 18 volts uh, 18 to uh, 17 like that sir and the batteries we should, we should not use sir because batteries have more voltage than cells so we have 9 yes, volt batteries to use yes sir but uh, uh, it is uh, it, the battery which is small we can use sir but uh, cells are only very good sir sir nine volt batteries are not small you can uh, just uh, google it you can use 9 volt batteries to power our arduino board okay so, so here the maximum volt for uh, powering it maximum volt input is you can give up to 15 volts recommended uh, 12 to 15 volts it will be given so output what this arduino board gives is just 5 volts it won't give above 5 volts you can see a pin here 5 volt so in this pin you will get 5 volt okay, and if 3.3 volt you can okay, use sir. this pin this microcontroller okay, is at mega 328p hello hello yes yes sir okay so this here is our digital ports 0 to 13 you can use any of the pins to uh, control your programming okay so as well as here we can see analog ports here 
so digital and analog ports you will be uh, while performing uh, projects you will be able to know what is digital and what is analog okay so here we have g and d as you all know this is our ground ground is nothing but negative pins and 5 volt is our positive ecc pin so maximum we have only we can get 5 volt from this arduino board so this what is our is v, v v input uh, in case if you don't have a dc jack to give through your uh, battery here battery or power you can also use this v in input pin this 5 volt is our output pin v out and this is our v in v input Sir, what is so, GND? GND is ground. Okay, sir. Okay. So resistors. Why we are using a resistor? To protect the circuit from the short beam. Control the ground. 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 Yes, uh, it regulates the flow of current. Doesn't allow extra current to affect our electronic components. So here you can see an LED burnt because of our because we haven't used a resistor. Okay, you can see here brown color. So it's advised that you have to use resistor to our electronic components. So this is a graphical representation where you can see this is a battery, and from here the current is flowing. green color denotes darker so high current is flowing and once it reaches this resistor of 100 ohm it just lowers and goes through our diodes so amount of current what diode needs will be carried only by this resistor sir is uh, does resistor also uh, needs electricity resistor should be connected between our input and output so where we are getting the output thing should be connected between uh, i mean between input and output this battery uses input and this diode is nothing but for example led light emitting diode so this will give our output, output. so you have to you have to connect our resistor between both the things so can we uh, okay. do practicals okay you all want to do practicals just one minute so ldr is light dependent uh, that just uh, just a minute sir i am going to uh, student just first uh, just listen what are the basics what are the components we are going to use then we start the practical okay half the knowledge if you are taking it's not possible for you okay if okay. in between any component that you are not able to understand that time you are asking sir what is this okay so that's said before uh, going to introduce all the components then you are able to do the practicals okay is that clear to everybody yes ma'am okay. yes ma'am yes. okay yes sir yes, 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 okay yes ma'am so this ldr is light dependent resistor type of a resistor but the resistance for example there are many types of uh, i mean many values of resistors available so here you can see 100 but in this type of resistor the value of the resistance depends upon the amount of light falling here okay as the amount of light falling the resistance of this resistor varies so where we can use this ldr is uh, for example in our street lamps just if you are placing your ldrs above our street lamps only if the sunlight is falling on the ldr our street lamps will turn off okay once the sun is gone and it's dark there is no light to be fallen on this ldr so at that time our street lamps will be turned on this is already implemented in various foreign countries so this is a uh, basic example of this uh, ldr resistor so leds as you all know light emitting diode it produces light so it has two terminals one is positive and one is negative so the longer terminal is positive and the shorter terminal is negative longer terminal is the anode and a shorter terminal is cathode okay anode is positive and cathode is negative there are many colors can available in the name anode is positive longer one cathode is anode negative is positive and cathode is negative cathode and anode are found in the battery itself 
yes everything is similar every electronic component will have its positive as well as negative leds so what does it do is it converts electrical energy into light energy so it will be giving some voltage to this and it will convert that into light energy rgb led this is type of an led uh, which will have four terminals okay here so led two terminals so this rgb led has four terminals and this uh, first one is red red terminal and the longer terminal is common one and the third one is green and fourth one is blue okay so the longer one is either positive or negative there are two types available in the market so it is either positive or negative we will be performing a project using using this okay so at that time you can uh, really understand what this terminal does sir so for you rgb we need uh, two batteries sir each containing no, no. two no wires. there is no need of extra voltage anything we have to just connect it in our breadboard so here you can see when uh, red and red and green uh, will give yellow color and now when we combine red and blue you can see 250 is the maximum value so Agenda, when red sir. and blue is combined we will be getting a delta which is or purple, but purple. okay when three all three are combined we will get white color and when green and blue are combined we will get light blue or cyan okay so buzzers as you all know it produces sound we will be using in, in our uh, alarm sound. projects so ir led it emits where we saw ir sensor but here it is an ir led which will emit infrared sensors you can find this led on top of our tv remote okay so this photo diode here Sir? yes any doubt sir your wife was breaking this now for me sir for others is it uh, okay or yes it's oh, clear yes, sir it's okay it's clear sir it's clear sir okay okay please mute yourself sir please sir can you please repeat the uh, meaning of ir led Yes, sir. It emits infrared radiation. Okay, nothing but it it emits infrared radiation. Yes, sir. Sun's radiation, sir. Infrared rays. What? Sir, it's not. It is sun's radiation, sir. Infrared. No, sir. This is not sun's radiation, sir. UV uh, sun's radiation is UV radiation, sir. That is ultraviolet. That's different. Don't uh, confuse yourself. That is different. this is just infrared lights uh, daily life you when you click your remote uh, button you will be emitting this uh, infrared radiation from your remote okay, okay so sir. this photo diode sir, they so convert the light it will sit an invisible to eyes why that light is invisible to eyes but it is possible if you uh, see the light through your uh, mobile camera okay if you want to see infrared light what you have to do is just take your remote and through your camera mobile camera just press some button and you will find a purple color light through your mobile camera we can't see through our uh, eyes okay we can't see through our uh, original eyes you can see through your mobile camera just try after the session but, I, so, but when i press the remote button i get a red light only dark red yes, light uh, that is your setup box yes sir uh, Uh, that like is different. TV Let's TV try TV in some TV remote. Okay, in some remotes, a uh, new one thing it will be seen as red color. But most of the remotes which came earlier, it will have a white color LED. That is nothing but IR LED. You can try in other remotes. Sir, I am still okay. having. Sir, I am both. I am having both remotes, sir. New and old, sir. Okay. Ah. Uh, so after the session, you can try out. And please let me know. Infrared. Students, uh, please let me know in the next session about that. Okay, we can carry on with the next slide. This photo diode is is the reverse of LEDs. It converts light energy into electrical energy. As we all saw, LED converts electrical energy into light energy, but this photo diode converts light energy into sir, electrical energy. Doubt, sir, it, ab it absorbs light. Sir, it's Yes, please. 
Sir, does it have some small solar panels, sir? Solar panels also uh, same sort of this uh, coating. No, here you can see this coating here, photo diode. So in the same principle only that also absorbs light. Yeah, like. so, what is the use of these things in the uh, solar panel? Uh, for example, the IR sensor which you saw before in our like, all our robot. Mm -hmm. Students, please mute. I'm hearing some bad sounds. Students. Sir, someone named uh, just Ravan. It's not amusing. Ravan named. Ravan named. Ravan named. Ma'am, please unmute her. Ma'am, you can unmute her. Awa, aw. Awa. Okay. So students here you can see this IR LED. Uh, someone asked what is the use of here when it already solar panels are there. So for example, if you are using an IR sensor, it will have this both sensors together. Okay, this IR LED as well as this photodiode, which will emit radiation and this LED will trans uh, if it is a black, it will not transfer back. But if it is a white line, it will just uh, emit it and we will be receiving it back to the okay. sensor in our line follower. Okay, uh, there is use for this photodiode. Okay, breadboard where we will be constructing our circuits using this breadboard. So, this Arduino IDE integrated development environment is our Arduino software. Uh, the syntax what we have used is, uh, is their own Arduino language. But the functions which we'll be using will be some sort of C and C++ language. Okay, it's not that tough, but we have to know some functions based on C and C++. So, in without this text coding here, Arduino IDE, we can also try through our block coding. So, it'll be when we start our practical class, I will be saying how to do that with our block coding. Someone asked before the session uh, we are go as we are going to take scratch. It's not scratch. It's called block coding. Hello, okay. sir. Uh, yes. Only C plus plus is used for it. No, no, it's not completely C plus no. plus. Just the functions what we're using. For example, here you can see void setup, void loop. So the functions and the semicolon uh, that syntax so is based on their. Uh, Arduino yes, language. Like this. Void main, then yeah. open. Yes, but not exactly fully thing. But uh, what they have this Arduino company does is they have created their own syntax. For example, you have to use this caps, this letter, you have to use caps only then this software will accept the word. Okay. Okay, so let's go into our first project. Are you familiar with breadboard connections? Yes, sir. No, sir. Okay. No, sir, uh, this is how this is how the breadboard breadboard looks. This is how the breadboard looks in our eyes, but internally it is connected like this. Okay. So they, if there is a break here, there is no transfer of voltage from this point to this point. So if it is a series connection, you have to use either this line or this line or any of the lines. If it is parallel, you can use other uh. For example, here you can use your LEDs, and if you are going to connect in series a resistor, you have to use only the line which it is connected. Uh, for there will be a copper thin plate inside your breadboard, so that is uh, ported like this in the lines here. So on the top two rows and below two rows, it is tied up like a horizontal line, horizontal copper plates, and in these two rows. Are connected with a vertical columns. Okay, so when there is a break, there is no transfer of voltage. It will be some sort of uh, confusing if you start doing your projects and uh, giving connections. You will clearly understand how this breadboard sir, is operated. Sir, this uh, this breadboard will be uh, present in RC car, sir. It's not present RC car. We will be using this breadboard. To build an RC car. Focus. Okay. First is from the basic. We can start. Okay, sir. Okay, so first is we are be 
making an led glow okay lighting up an led for that we need this we need five components okay as we all know this led here and resistor of value 220 ohms okay this 220 ohm is uh have you heard ohms law v equal to ir so this yes, value sir. is found yes, out yes this value is found out using that how many resistance we have to give for this led and here we have jumper wires just to transfer voltage from one place to another and two main components are missing here what we will be requiring to perform our project battery battery source battery, battery sir this battery, okay sir. battery is required in our real life but now we are, no yes, see we are going to build this project virtually okay no hardware parts what and all two parts required for this switch and uh, uh, power source no main thing is missing here we need our Red microcontroller board, board right the yes, breadboard another one the power source we need our arduino board without arduino how will you perform this project you need this arduino board breadboard led resistor and some jumper wires so this is our circuit diagram here here you can see a zoomed image here so our led is connected in the breadboard in the two rows between which i saw, showed you here so we have connected led in this so this is our positive the bend one is positive and uh, this one is negative so what we are going to do is connect our resistor resistor will have two legs two legs or two terminals you can say two legs or two terminals so one terminal is connected in series with a positive of led so if you are connecting in this same column it means that you have connected leds positive and resistors one terminal in series okay and as we all know the other end of the resistor should be connected to any of the digital pins in your arduino board it's not necessary that you have to connect it to 13 you can use you can fix any you can use any of the digital pins in your arduino board only thing is you have to remember that pin and you have to mention it in your coding or programming okay so uh, as we all know this is negative of our led here so in series we have used a jumper wire and we have connected it to gnd gnd is nothing but ground or negative of arduino board you can remember it like this is negative of arduino board so we have to connect negative of led to negative of arduino board so i have used a jumper wire and connected it to negative of led so we are going to build this circuit in our virtual platform so this is the code here text coding if you are preferring text code this is our code and i will be introducing you to the block coding so here you can see this uh, for example here pin mode m is capital here so this is the syntax what i was talking about and here you can see output everything is in caps so this is a syntax and here you can see a uh, semicolon and this uh, digital write w is caps so you have to remember everything if you are starting with this text coding so before that if you start with block coding you will Sir, understand uh, what the logic is okay so that this block is coding initializing integer yes float integer you have uh, Float uh, it's a decimal you will be using float something okay so here integer it represents integer yes okay so let's start so i'm going to show you how to start this uh, okay so what you have to do is go to google and type tinkercat.com This Tinkercad is our virtual simulator platform. Okay, it will Sir, ask you. I am using this Tinkercad for 3D designs. It will allow us to do 3D designs. Now I am going to show you how to learn about this Arduino board. Okay, so it will once you get into this Tinkercad.com, it will it will ask you to create your account. If you have, if you have created your account. This is your dashboard. It will allow you I to enter this dashboard here. 
yes good so others don't do now just see what i am doing or otherwise you can write it down what i am doing and after this class you can try it out okay so here is our profile here and here you can see circuits option here 3d designs is what one of our friend was talking 3d designs it's no need to enter that let's go into the circuits option and whatever circuit you are building it will be stored here okay for you it will be blank you are starting from the first so just click create new circuit So this is our workspace area where you have to build your circuit and here you can change the name of your project to a project you want and this is our work area as well so so here in on the right side you can see the components if you want to search any particular component you can also type it here if i want an arduino board i'm just typing it arduino and it will give me whatever arduino is available in this component section so here in the right side you will find all the components and here you can see code option here so nothing but programming okay and here's just start simulation is to view our output once you are completed your circuit part here and programming part in your code section you can give your output to the start simulation button here so now we are going to build our first project. What is our first project? So can you read the lighting uh, up an LED? Lighting up an LED, good. What have to repeat? Lighting up an LED. Lighting up an LED. Lighting up, lighting so up what an LED. Need? Lighting up, so lighting first, up an LED. Arduino. Arduino, Arduino board. board. Resistor, breadboard, LED oh. light, jumper wires, and a breadboard. Breadboard. Okay, good. So now, how you have to use this is breadboard. Also. Left click your left click on your mouse and drag and drop it in your work area like this. Okay. Now, how this works is now you can the USB is unplugged. And uh, this start simulation uh, code you can see. So once you click the start simulation, this is plugged in and it will be used. Okay. Okay. So next, what we need is breadboard. Breadboard. Sir, what is the code? Sir? Okay. What is code? The code. This one you're asking about this one, yes, sir. Uh, for joining this, uh, what is the code, sir? Yes, so you're trying now. There is no class code here. The uh, class code is something which your teacher will be creating to give you to create a classroom for you, and then you can work there. Now it's not possible to create a class code. So once the session is over, you have to create your personal account, to start working on this. Okay, so there are different types of breadboard available. So since our project is a basic one, I am taking this breadboard small. I am just drag and dropping it here. Next, I need an LED. Sir, can we minimize the size of the breadboard and the Arduino board? What if you want to minimize? You can use this. Or you can also okay, use your mouse to minimize. Okay, so then uh, in the starting page of the components, you will find LED and resistor. Resistor, so LED, and jumper wires. Okay, first I am dragging a LED and placing it here. And when you hover your uh, arrow, it will show which is cathode and which is anode. It makes us easy to find which is anode and which is cathode. Anode is positive, cathode is negative. So if you anode are, is bent and cathode is positive. You have seen our uh, circuit, you would have remember. I have to take this resistor and I am placing it here. And place it one one side of the resistor in anode. Have I, have I placed correctly? 
No, sir. No, sir. It should no, be yes. bent, sir. No, sir. Sir, it should be in the no, single sir, line of anode. Horizontal. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Single yeah, line. Horizontal, sir. Yes, Good. Okay. It's not necessary that I have to place it like this. If you want to turn your resistor, you can use the option here, like this. Okay. Uh, so it's not necessary that I have to connect this leg here in any of the things. You can also use here. Okay, since there should not be any contact between these two lines. So I am using here. If you want to do it as uh, per the circuit, I will show you. Okay. Both Sir, are can same. you place it anywhere? Yes, but you can place it anywhere. But you, you have to move your LED also. Am I clear? One leg should be in okay, series with the like LED. Bad, sir. Okay, sir. Okay. You can use anywhere in this breadboard, but the thing is, you have to be make connection series for this anode and terminal, one terminal. Okay. okay. So, uh, when I click this resistor, it is showing me 1K ohm here. Okay, the default what it's giving, but I need what value I need? 220. 220. 220, good. 220, 220 ohms. 220 ohms. It's given kilo ohms here. So I have to change it ohms. as ohms. 220 ohms. ohms. Okay. So now, 1, 2, 3, 4, 4 components we have taken. Fifth one is our jumper wires. There is no, nothing called jumper, jumper wires in this component. <laughs> what you have to do is, anywhere you can click on these holes, left click, and if you drag out, it will automatically create your jumper wires. Okay, where I, where I have to connect the other end of the resistor? In the yeah. digital pin. Digital pin, good. Any of the digital pins. Okay, there are zero to for zero to thirteen digital pins. So I am connecting a pin thirteen. Okay. Any. It's up to you. You can connect on any of the digital pins. Okay. And now what? This is cathode negative of LED. Or I have to connect the negative of LED. This is LED. Ground. 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 Good. So you can find. Yes. Ground of Arduino board. You can see three grounds in Arduino board. We can. Any any pin we can place it. Which one? Any one. See this from positive digital. thing from anode, you can connect in any of the digital pins. But this negative of the LED cathode should be grounded. I mean should be connected to ground of Arduino board. There will be three ground in your Arduino board. One, two, three. Any you can use you can connect it to any of the ground pin. Any one. So we can do okay, it in so, the digital, uh, that also, sir, ground, or only it should be compressor in power. This one, power. Oh, you're asking about this D and D. You can yes, connect sir. it here also. You can connect there also. All three, any three. Any one among these three G and D pins. Till this one with okay, digital sir. pins, 0 to 13. OK, so now our circuit is completed. Once the circuit is completed, you have to go to this code section here. Open code. Let me make it big. Sir, is this block code? Yes, this is the block coding which I was talking about. So in this, it also allows, if you are familiar with text, you can go to the text code here. OK, so the text code. And if you want to start from the basics, which I recommend you have to go to this block section. There is also an option called blocks plus text. You can uh, explore that. For now, I'm using this block coding. So here you can see uh, this is just a default one. Just drag and drop it in your dustbin. Now our uh, empty space, we have got that empty space. So here you can see output, input, notation, control, math variables. These are all our sections where different kind of blocks available. For example, output section will contain all these blue blocks and control section, all these blocks. This 
block coding is based on simple english and logic you have to think of the logic and implement it in your project okay so that's the main idea here now it's nothing but our led is an output device so in our output section i am going to choose a block to make my led glow so there is already available block here you can see set pin to high okay so this second block i am just dragging and dropping it here this one block is enough to uh, place this text coding here here you saw this seven to eight lines of text coding here just you have to use this one thing here just one block is enough to replace all the text coding what we saw in our PBT. What change I have to do here? Just read it. Set pin 0 to high. What do you mean by high and what do you mean by low? So uh, positive and negative? No, just think like a switch. Okay. High, high means on low means off okay so when you're using high it will it's like you're switching on and low it is switching off so now we have to switch on the led so i'm going to use this high okay it's done so here you can see set pin zero but which pin i have connected me led so 13. yes 13. 13. i i have not 13. connected it in zero i, I have connected so. it to 13. So I have to click this drop down and select this 13th pin. So now you can see set pin 13 to high. Our coding is done. Just one block. I'm just closing it. And now what I have to do is click this start simulation. And you see the LED glowing? Yes, sir. We can yes, sir. see. Yes, sir. Yes, sir, I can see, sir. Yes, sir. You can also learn different projects using this. Now, what I'm going to do is let's so see how this give... resists. So, we should give only the 13 one, sir. We should not give that the GN uh, ground. No, this one you can't, you can't connect positive to ground. This is from positive. See, the circuit is like you have connected the anode positive. So, the transfer of voltage will be from here. To here okay you can't connect it to negative from here it no, will sir, give uh, five yes uh, i will show you the code, root the code you yes. gave that only you have uh, given the positive one oh should we have to no, give no, the no, negative no, one ground also? is not required no ground is not required universally everyone know that negative of the electronic component will be connected to negative of the arduino board there is no yes, need sir. for that Okay, so this Arduino board will give 5 volt output from the 13th pin and it will just transfer here and it will go through this jumper wire and from this resistor it will transfer and it will just send the amount of voltage and current required for this LED to this anode and this ground will okay, be sir. simultaneously working so in that way this LED will start glowing. Okay. Thank you, sir. Uh, so Another one is oh, now we are going to make our LED blink. How to make this LED blink? What do you mean by blinking? Oh, sir. Sir. Okay. Okay. It's already given high. So uh, someone was saying one second. Someone was saying one second. Yes, you have to give delay one second. So what to basically blinking is uh where we have seen blinking is you can see that in our vehicle's uh side light okay, there uh when That's side indicators also. on indicators yes, yes when indicators are turned on you can see it will be beeping and light will be turning on and off so blinking is nothing but turning on and off of a electronic thing so go to code section there is no changes in the circuit same circuit going to the code option set pin 13 to high now go to control section 
and use this wait block wait for one second you can also change this as, as many sec uh, to anything what you want so as of now i'm giving it as one second and in this drop down you can see milliseconds it's nothing thousand millisecond is equal to one second so it is equal that if you give one second or thousand milliseconds okay so now i have turned on my led for one second after that what i have to do is turn off my led for one second so for that you can also go to output section drag and drop again and then this. we can set set pin 13 to low yes good so instead of that what i'm going to do is right click on this and duplicate and it will give me this two blocks again again i am placing it here and i am but not but change high to low yes i am not going to change the pin since 13 is the same and high i am going to change this as low yes. so uh, coding is completed let's see how it works Can you see the LED blinking? Yes, I can see it is blinking, yes, sir. Sir, it's blinking, sir. Yes, sir, it's blinking, sir. Yes, sir, it's blinking, sir. Yes, sir. I can see, sir. So if you want, sir, if you want your LED, uh, one millisecond. One millisecond is we can't see it in our naked eyes. It's so small. Thousand milliseconds makes one second. So let me then keep it as zero point. Can we see five hundred milliseconds? Yes, five hundred millisecond is nothing but zero point five seconds. Yes. Whatever you said now is similar to 0 0.5 second. Okay, let me keep it as 500 milliseconds as you said. Okay, now it will blink for half second. Let me close this. Can you see it is blinking faster? Yes, sir. I can see, yes, sir. sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I can also see, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. It's just taking the half time. It's half second. Okay. So instead of this, we have done it through our block coding. Okay. So sir, it's time, I think, 2.10. Any doubts? Block coding or, uh, the text coding, which is this? Which is best? Sir, next See. class we will also do, sir. Uh, someone asked which is best. But as we all know, text coding is something what we are going to do in your higher classes. Okay. For example, in today's thing, uh, world, you can could have heard of many block coding companies have come. So in creating your games, someone was talking about Scratch. So in Python also, they would have... So where can we learn these codings? Coding. So we have, uh, we will be giving you classes, no, weekly or monthly. So in those time, you you can uh, ask any doubts. So once after the session, you can log into your Tinkercad account, sign up using your account, and start working. And uh, in next class, let me know if you are finding it any difficult. Sir, can you tell any side of class from where we can learn these codings? No, sir. Uh, you want to know about the coding i will give you one number so you have to contact him through get our online website courses okay i will just put it in my uh in our chat box just note it down okay, okay sir but uh what you have to do after this session is you have to sign up in our tinkercad and start working so that i'll be asking you questions next class and if you are finding any difficult, please note it down and you can ask me in your next session. As for us now for sir? today, if you have any doubts, please ask. Yes. Sir, will uh, this class be regularly or uh, weekly once or uh, monthly once, sir? That depends on your uh, school's class availability. Your ma'am will say you. Okay. Sir, uh, you, yeah, can just, you can contact you can, note, you can note down that <laughs> number. Yeah. Yes, ma'am. Uh, uh, yes, uh, uh, students, just listen. Uh, just listen me. Uh, as we are planning, this is our first uh, training uh, for this uh, from the Centrado. Okay, sir is from Centrado. 
and uh, he is giving training so this one is first training for us uh, as soon as uh, we have a, we are planning for availability as means it's a weekly or within 15 days i'll inform you before okay so um, maybe today's uh, training which uh, sir gave you everybody hope understand and you really enjoyed yes or no sir yes ma'am yes, ma ma everybody sir uh, sir uh, very well explain uh, sir explained very yeah. nicely okay so that uh, this is your first class and you are able to give the answers also for the coding i heard uh, so it's really uh, yeah, i am really very thankful to you sir uh, they are able to understand in, in the first uh, this sir? training they are already yes. have done no so i think yes, it was easy they, for uh, sir some is student done but uh, most of the students are new but uh, they really understand that's why uh, it's good and uh, your efforts also very uh, nice sir so yeah, many time they have to practice yeah. after every session so you have to make sure that what sir uh, it's not able to uh, audible no whatever we do in ah. our session ah, yes, sir. Yes, sir. after the session ah yes sir so uh, every sir, can you tell me what i have to do with that contact number If you want anything related to our uh, online courses, you can contact them. Contact that number. Sir, so what is the class code okay, for sir. logging in? It is asking That's, for class code. Uh, don't go to that option. Just I will. Okay, sir. So, sir, please resend the number, sir. Okay, so I will uh, have a. Uh, sir, uh, you shared Ani sir number. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Um, that I'll share to the students. Or if you are uh, sharing now, uh, no problem. You share, sir. Yeah. Uh, the students, just one thing. I just tell you the class code. What you are asking. Yeah. Uh, better you just uh, uh, log in with your personal. Isn't? Uh, is it correct, sir? Yes, ma'am. You are correct. I will just show them. Since I have already yes. an account, if you are just going to thinkercat. dot com. dot com, it will go to. It will lead to this window here. So what you have to do is go to join now, and after giving join now, it will ask you this. So here you have to give create a personal account, and it will ask you to sign up with email or sign in with Google. That means if you have a Gmail ID, you have to click this, or if you have a Yahoo or some other mail, you can uh, click this sign up with email. So if you have a Gmail ID, just click that. And enter your uh, email and password so that it will lead to your thing. Okay, I already created that account, so it will not ask for me. Is that clear? Don't go to class code. Don't click for class code option. Okay, sir. Okay, sir. Sir, can I ask one thing? Yes, please. Sir, from Centren dot tech site, what can we learn? you can learn uh, projects based on electronics and this arduino thing okay sir okay uh, we are also building python course which will be uh, after this some one month or two months so we will let you know after we have launched that courses sir python course also will be launched in that yes but before that in your session here you will be completely learning about the projects you can build through this arduino board and once you are uh, available to enter your labs in your school you will start working there hands on okay there will be a hardware board available so you can build your own projects there okay sir any other doubts no sir no sir no sir thank you sir no sir no okay sir thank you sir uh, so um, Uh, yes, thank you ma'am hope you don't have any doubts um, i just mean sir hope you all uh, um, understand all the things uh, carefully today you people try in the next class when sir joined you whatever be the doubts you just clarify and uh, literally sir today's class is very nice hope uh, student all uh, no uh, doubt to anybody now no sir no doubt no doubt it's clear no doubt ma'am okay uh, yes, so sir. today you try to log in uh, personally and uh, do all the practices which sir explained at least try this blinking of led so that you are able to understand what are the changes you are able to do and what is the outcome you are having okay 
if any doubt you just ask in the next class to our sir okay so okay, is it okay. clear to everybody okay, yes, sir uh, yes ma'am uh, come yes ma'am yes, so we close sir what can we do with that yes, contact number just a minute Uh, Listen here, students. That uh, just I am telling. You. Contact numbers. Uh, uh, those who are interested in the reading or want to learn something new, coding or anything, you just talk to sir. The number which he shared, and he is going to guide you what actually you have to do. Okay. Clear. Yes. Ma'am, it is for uh, okay. uh, game coding, ma'am. What happened? Is this for also gaming coding? Yes, there is a scratch. See all types of coding. Using scratch. Yeah, yeah all types of coding. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yeah. Uh, yes, sir. You continue. Continue. Uh, we also have that course based uh, creating games using scratch coding, and uh, there is a course for electronics, virtual electronics, and we also have this virtual art demo. So once you get to spoke with a uh, person, he will clearly uh, take you through what and all courses we have and what will be your. uh advantages to that okay sir so can you repeat okay. the contact number yes sir it, uh map you have yes i am having i am going to share you Please afterwards share okay yeah. students okay thank you okay ma'am okay ma'am okay, thank you students thank you ma'am for thank you sir thank you sir thank you sir thank you sir Thank you, ma'am. Have a nice day, sir. Thank you, ma'am. Have a nice day, ma'am. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Have a nice. Thank you, sir. Bye, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. Um. Thank you, ma'am. Ma Our uh, student hope you all enjoyed this one. You all learned it nicely. Yes. Yes. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma uh, the today, yes, whatever be the sessions are explained, it's clear to everyone. Na today, you try whenever you are getting the time today. Okay, today at least you log in and try so that if any doubts you are having, you are able to uh, clear it on the next training. Okay. Okay. Okay, ma'am. Okay, ma'am. Okay. Ma'am, ma can we leave the class? Okay, ma'am. Okay, ma'am. Ma uh, you leave the meeting now. The training is over. You just leave the meeting. Okay. Okay, thank okay. you, ma'am. Thank you. Have a nice day, ma'am. Do coding, ma'am. Okay, student. Thank you. Thank you, ma'am. Bye, ma'am. Stay safe, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. Have a nice day. Hello uh, sir are you online